video. This is uh, basically a rundown of uh, the way we image machines here at work. I'm uh, going to start by opening up several boxes and, and then shelving the units and going through those steps we take in order to prepare the machine before we actually uh, put uh, a special version of Windows put on that is specific to this model of uh, desktop computer. These computers we're using today, they're uh, a Dell Optiplex 7010 and um, there's a couple hundred to go through but I'll just uh, do the short video showing how we set up four of them and through the different stages of the process. Uh, hope you enjoy it. First we gotta open the box. Handy dandy Leatherman. mouse and uh, software. Keyboard. These have arrows on them, arrows on the short ends, short ends, long ends, arrows them out, and on the stack like that. The next step is we install video card into the machine. I'll show you how we do that now. And once the video card's in, we uh, do an asset tag. We put an identifying a barcode on it so that we know uh, this machine's name. And then we also uh, record the, both the name of the machine and the tag that Dell puts on them. Barcodes, also known as asset tags. And we use a barcode scanner that's on the phone.
Then once we have the barcode scanned, what we do is we have a system. We have three different colors of labels. We have the red label, and that means that the machine is broken and they don't shouldn't deploy it until it's been repaired. And then we have the green label, and that tells us that the machine is ready to be deployed and it can be sent out to the end user. And then the blue label means that the machine has uh, needs to have an image put on it and it's uh, but it's ready to go. So on the machine that we just did the asset tag on, I'll be putting a blue label on. And then the blue label means that the machine can be can be go to the next phase. So even if I'm not here, somebody will come down and know that that machine's not ready to be sent to the end user until after the uh, image has been put on it. So the next phase we do is we uh, start to do the image process. Take the machine off the shelf, put them on the bench, plug them in, get them ready to go, and then uh, we have to update the BIOS before we can launch the before we can launch the software we need to put on, we need to update the BIOS so it recognizes our uh, Pixie server. And that's what I'll be doing next. And in order to get the BIOS to work, we use a USB stick to boot the machine up. And then we go through the process of running the software that's on the stick in order to be able to get the machine to boot on to the Pixie server. Press F2 to get in the BIOS. Run to information that we set these things at, apply, exit, F12 for the, get on the stick, USB, enter, 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 and it's Dell. Optiplex 7010 uh, A19's most recent BIOS. Press enter. Press yes. And yes. Old BIOS is 16, A16, and the new BIOS is A19. It will not boot with A16. F12, F12. Now we boot to the onboard NIC. And F12 again. And it starts to boot. This is a long process. I'm not going to make you sit here, go through this. This just takes way too long. Then once the machine gets to the Windows logon screen, you just log on with your account. And then you add the machine to a group called New Build Computers and it's SCCM, then it will start to get its updates.
always check McAfee. Make sure it gets its updates. Control panel, small icons, configuration manager, actions, and then tab. And then you wait. And then all the updates will start coming. Now all eight of these machines are nearly at the same level and they're just waiting for updates. So once the updates come down, they're all on the list. The updates should be uh, hitting these machines in a few minutes and then it'll just be a massive reboot. And then the image is complete. So. Uh, it does take a bit of time. It's not a quick process, but uh, it is progress. And uh, hope you enjoy this video.